Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love and for all who are returning, thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I do usually go live every Friday, however, this Friday, I'm unable to. My son has some school events going on tonight that we have to be at. So that's why you guys are getting a pre-record. And next calendar year, we will be back to doing pre-recorded videos as well as lives. And you'll get more content from me. So it, I know there's a lot going on online with Lotto, 21 Savage, are they dating? Are they not? You know, if you've been following along, people have been insinuating that they're in a relationship, but that he is married to his baby mama or a good friend of his, or maybe she's supposed to be both <laughs> for green card purposes. And so that's why they have not been public with their relationship. And then he went on Clubhouse and denied having any kind of a celebrity girlfriend. And the latest update that I saw this morning online was that she has now unfollowed him. So we're gonna take a look at that. Also, if you want to join my Patreon, that is where we do all kinds of exclusive content. I don't post my youtube content over on patreon first or you know vice versa it's all exclusive also patreon is the only place that i do take any requests for videos at the appropriate tier and that is patreon.com slash psychic love all my info will be linked down below and this is the last month to become a client of mine after this calendar year, I will be closing my books to new clients and it will be a wait list to read with me. I'm going to be doing some other things next year and much more focused on creating content. And it's just little old me. So, you know, trying to keep up with everything, I kind of have to reshuffle some things in order to do that. So, and also, once we hit 7,500 subs over here, I will be doing another giveaway and then we're gonna do a really big one at 10,000 subs. So tell your friends to subscribe, make sure you are, and that will be announced when we hit that mark. And we will be back doing our regular lives next. Friday and at the end of the month I have a special guest joining me for a live so that's gonna be exciting and then also make sure you follow my community tab if I do have anything special going on I always announce it there or on my Instagram stories and that will all be linked down below as well and there is a $15 off coupon for those who do want to book before the end of the year or want to become a client. And that information will be pinned in the comments below as well. So let's see what Spirit has to say about these two because seems like Lotto is always in some kind of drama mess, whatever you want to call it, manufactured or not. You know, it seems like these days people like to create some kind of drama around themselves and right as soon as they've got something dropping and both 21 and her have music coming out. Lotta released a song with Glorilla today. Nas and 21 have something coming out. I don't know if it already dropped. Um, you can let me know. I've been extremely busy this week, so been hard to keep up with all the music that's dropping right now. Alrighty, so I had done a video previously on Lotto and 21 and Spirit was reminding me that back then it was like if she gets involved with this man and this was at the very beginning when people were starting to say oh I think they're gonna get together that she was gonna end up really disappointed 
by him because he loyalty is not this man's strong suit in any way, shape, or form. And that's what's coming up again. I do see that the two of them are in a relationship of sorts. Um, you know, and it is very much we have to play by certain rules, keep it out of the public. But this is the thing that Spirit's saying. Of course, you know that there is that element of I can't let, you know, immigration know that I'm dating somebody else when I am married to somebody else, which is being confirmed by Spirit in the cards. But also, he doesn't really want people to know regardless because it's I can get away with certain things that I wouldn't be able to get away with if the world did know that I was dating you. As in, you know, hanging out with groupies, partying, different things. And so she's been in this place where she's been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting in order to become public. But he's showing up as the king of wands where she's showing up as the queen of cups. You know, she's the only one in this situation that's 100% committed to things and has her feelings and emotions and heart really involved in this. Whereas to him, it's more fun. I'm having fun with it, but I'm not going to like wife you up. You're not going to get a ring. We're not going to spend the rest of our lives together. Don't you dare think of getting pregnant. And there's, he's not looking at it with any kind of longevity. Is he telling her certain things? Yes. But is it, I mean it and I'm being honest? No, not at all. And the funny thing is, is that even though, you know, it's been, hey, the heat's getting on us. We got to, you know, stop following me. I got to get on, you know, the internet and tell people that we're not together. It still stung for her to hear, you know, the man that you think that you're committed to online telling everybody, no, we're not together. Um, there's something that's going to come up about he's going to be spotted with somebody else and that's going to put an end to this relationship anyways. So spirit saying, give it to about sometime in spring, maybe sooner than that. There's going to be some sort of a scandal. There's going to be either somebody comes out, you know, like those girls that like to go on podcasts and guess who I hooked up with or It'll be paparazzi pictures, but Spirit saying it's going to be very public that all of us find out about it, not just a, I went through your phone and saw you, you know, texting other females and then we privately broke up, but at least, you know, as some sort of a benefit to her, y'all weren't really public out there with your relationship, so you can kind of avoid a lot of the public humiliation versus a Khloe Kardashian that everybody knows you and Tristan are together and you know here he is getting outed for having a kid behind your back type of a situation um of course people are still gonna speculate and all of that about the two of them being together and that she got cheated on but I see a lot of denials coming you know out around that Immediately after this whole, you know, bust up happens between them and it won't be very long, she's going to pop up with somebody new and it will be somebody, again, that's a little bit older, more established within the industry, um, that has, you know, more of a known career than her. It's really twofold. One, and it'll be a PR type of relationship. Because Spirit's saying it's very smoke and mirrors. And it will be her label, her people trying to, you know, no, she was never with 21. This is the guy that's been her man this whole entire time. They were just keeping it on the, you know, low, low. Or her and her old man broke up a long time ago. And the, her and this guy have been dating for a while. Um, 
But the crazy thing is, is that he's going to get caught cheating on her too. There's going to be another scandal that happens around this. And this time around, it will be, okay, well, everybody thought you were with this person. And so now you look like boo-boo the fool because you got cheated on twice. Once for sure that we all knew about. Um, but again, like I said, this next one will be because her team is trying to distract from the 21 stuff and attach her to somebody else to try to get her some more visibility because that's what the industry likes to do you know put people together that they think it's gonna bring a lot of attention to both it's gonna you know maybe give you a new look or paint you know this picture PR wise as to oh look at you're such a high classy woman because you're dating this mogul or this person or that person, then it's giving that person visibility with your audience and vice versa. But it's not really gonna help her career as much as they're hoping for. Um, and Spirit's saying she really does need a kind of an overall rehab of her career because there's gonna be more drama that's coming her way as far as her and other artists. and. Just, you know, I mean, the thing is, like, we talked about this on live a few weeks ago. There's such a level of entitlement with some of these newer artists and thinking that, like, I need to get the same roses, the same credit, the same accolades, the same recognition, the same appreciation as a Nikki, a Drake, a Wayne. And it's like, you just showed up last week and these are people that have been in the industry for, you know, going on a decade or two. They earned their spot, you didn't. And this entitled attitude that she's been getting herself caught up in is gonna come back to bite her in the butt because Nikki will not be the only person that she gets into it with. And it's really going to show people, okay, Nikki wasn't the problem. Lotto's the problem. She's constantly, you know, going around and having issues with people. And that's what's going to put a kind of stain on her. And so I do see that her team is going to be trying to scramble, come up with better songs for her to put out, be attached to different people, come out trying to be you know, more of a girl's girl and rehab that image before it's too late and people just sort of get tired of her altogether. So, yes, her and 21 are together, but, you know, like I said, I don't see them ever going public with each other and he's going to be outed as hooking up with somebody else. And like I said, even though they won't be publicly claiming each other to where people can say, oh, you got cheated on behind the scenes she's going to be very upset. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to look at that real quick. I don't have a bunch of time today because I got to wrap it up and head out to get my kiddo from school in a bit. But I hope you guys are all having a good one. Like I said earlier, if you want to join my Patreon, if you want to book your own reading, all of that information will be linked down below. You will get more pre-records from me. And we will be live again next Friday, December 9th. I'll see you guys then. Bye.